<laughs> no, in the last part we beat the two people outside, and by the way, you gotta be. Then I shall test your skill. So you gotta fight this kid. Anyway, in the last part we fought two people. In this part we're gonna fight some people, such as this kid and maybe the kid behind uh, him. Oh, no, no basic Pokemon. Okay. The other one as well. That's great. I understand the officiality. I'm having a tangler. But against the Krabby, Krabby's gonna do. I mean, yeah, Krabby's gonna do. Krabby, Krabby needs to as well. Maybe if he doesn't play anything after. No, he's got cold families. He's definitely saved himself. Saved himself. I got another. We'll start with buying. Yeah! And hopefully we'll get another grass next turn. Oh no. There's a king Kingler on the bench. He oh, he knows I'm gonna kill him. Um... I can't kill him this turn. As long as you don't play a switch. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Grass scale! Because I'm showing off the poison powder. So basically, this tangler is like the other one, except it needs a bit more energies, but it's got uh, 20 damage, which is handy. So fortunately, this king love will definitely deal 40 damage next turn. So I thought. And a double color is how handy. See the deck's going my way now. I'm sorry, I can't <laughs> Ugh, oh, so tired. Oh no! Spamming my coins. That's one heads he won't get. Metapod. Fortunately, the seal can't kill me this turn. Or the next turn. Oh gosh. Two metapods? Really? Um. Okay. Uh, we'll just stick it to a poison powder. You know, two down already. That's actually pretty good. Something weird happened to Fraps, um, it hit the 18th of May, and then for some reason Fraps would not like to start. Um, you know, fortunately you can fix it just by changing the date on your computer, but... That must mean that there's something in the code that would tell it off. I'm not quite sure what- YES! Okay, come on, we gotta, we gotta just completely evolve. Okay, ho hopefully. Ah, uh, you jerk. I was, I was gonna, um, try and get up. Uh, Venusaur. Well, I guess I guess he would have done that anyway. So, gotta be. Uh, I just feel like having the ability around, or more so. I was, I just feel like doing destroying destroying him next turn. That's the way to switch out like right now. He's not gonna switch out. He's gonna attempt to make his way out of it. I would have smashed out. Actually, no. Scyther, Scyther is too good. Cool, good. Um, we got Venusaur there. We got Metapod. Yeah. Wow. Complete heads. So we got a around female. So we won. Yeah. You know that actually wasn't too bad. I guess it was just how I went with the ooh, vile plane. Now this one, this one is someone trading for this? I, I thought someone trades for this or whatever. Um, not too sure. I think someone 
I think he's the person at the fighting club who wants the vile plume. Anyway, the vile plume has pretty good HP, and he can. And you can flip a coin if heads remove one damage counter from one of your Pokémon, which is very good. And the Petal Dance flip three coins and 40 times the heads. But vile plume is confused, but that's okay because you can deal up to 120 damage, and that's not even with a weakness. Um, close to Vaporeon. Have we shown off the Vaporeon? Yeah, we have shown off the Vaporeon. By the way, yeah, that GV means it was made in the thing in the diamond. That's what it was. I thought it was a triangle. It's a diamond. Um, mystery. I couldn't... Uh, I'm a star. That's cool. Um, 70 health. That's good. Uh, would have gotten 20 damage plus 10 for each more, but you, uh, but not used to pay, but you can't add more than 20 damage this way. Uh, Spike Cannon flip two coins. This attack does 30 times the number of heads. So that's pretty nice. Like a tongue. That's a lot of HP, and that's also a big retreat cost, but flip a coin of heads to the tail. Uh, flip a coin of heads to paralyze, flip a coin of heads to the few, so, you know. Uh, Mankey, this one's cool too. Uh, no retreat cost, and pretty expendable, but peak once during a turn, you may look at one of the following the top card from either player's deck, random card from your opponent's hand, or one of either player's prizes. And, yeah, and the scratch. I don't know, that's a very useful ability. Uh, execute Hypnosis Leech Seed, yeah. That's about it. Amy, wake up! Psst, psst, psst. You lost, how could you? Okay, instant fight with the next dude. Anyway, yeah, so this is the gym leader of the third gym that I'm doing. It can be the nth gym in your case. And a tangler, that's great. Oh, Pinsa, yeah. I don't know, we, we've got this. We've got the Pinsa out. We've got the Pinsa card out. See, the poison powder is a lot more required for this tangler than the other one. The other one poison. Actually, no, poison's pretty useless on the other one. Well, the, well, it's not pretty useless. It does another 20 damage every turn, which is... Yeah, that flower, that means it's from the whatever set that is. And it's a rare. Ah, uh, what else? That's a common. And that's a common set. One, one thing that I find kind of odd is that levels I'm, of the cards, I'm assuming, is to differentiate between different versions of the same Pokemon, different cards of the same Pokemon. So how come, how come you can get two different cards of the same level that are completely different? There's two Pikachus that are level 16, there are two Mewtwo's that are level 60. I'm just looking at both, both of them, all of these, by the way, are promotional cards as well, so... Dang it, uh, they do different stuff as well, so, yeah. Anyway, we'll get that pincer ready. Poison wipe! Uh, I should have done the poison wipe the next turn. Should have totally done the next turn, because then I would have. Yeah. Oh gosh, Lapras. Oh no, uh, first person to get confused in, in the LP, and how many parts are we in? Yeah, okay, um. I'll put the double colors on him, but... We'll try and hit the Squirtle, if not, then we're dead. Yeah! Well played. Well played. Okay, hopefully we'll get across. Yeah! That means our Pinsa can come straight out. Because you can use one gun now. Lapras is a pain. But the pincer is awesome. So many evolutions. 
I don't know why, this, I, I, I just made this deck really oriented around evolution and apparently I never got it for, um, whoever that was before. Uh, so anyway, the Lapras has, you know, not too powerful, but, you know, a lot of like, HP, so that's why I'm going to use Guillotine twice. Oh gosh. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. So, 10 damage. I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't like being confused. Especially with someone who I actually feel like going, going to use. Um, so, I can use Iron Group, but I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. Why would you use Iron Group? Guillotine would pretty much do so much more. Except if you want to delay something, but. No. Plus power? Yeah! Wow! What great timing! What great timing, because now I just go guillotine right through that. <laughs> oh my gosh, the timing on that! The timing! <laughs> so it's like, ooh, no lapis. Um, what do I feel like doing? Uh, I feel like using the energy search and getting my graph. So I can put it on. I'm gonna put it on. Tangler. Tangler will be my backup. I mean, Pinsir doesn't have too much health. That's the problem. But the Pinsir is the basic Pokemon, so like, he's really good. So no, no energy. It's just gonna prepare for a last, last minute resort. I thought this would be more difficult, to be honest. <laughs> A Goldie. A Goldie. Game set and match. <laughs> See, I just breeze through these two people and I managed to do it in 12 minutes. <laughs> oh no, I lost. You can have the medal. You can have the medal. So we got the water medal that also, we also got boosters. Um. Poly well, amnesia. Oh, 60 HP, decent, you know, decent, but amnesia. Uh, choose one of the defending Pokemon's attacks. Can't use that. And that's that's no coin flip. That's basically you can prevent them from attacking full stop. And double slap, then that does quite a fair bit of damage. Um, Marowak. Pretty much. Golduck. Um, Psyshock and Hyper Beam. Grimer, this one's a weird one. Nasty Goo. And all damage room, 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 yeah. Sparrow. We really need to get more of these some um, laboratory packs. Cause seriously, there's tons of Pokemon that I've never gotten. PGR, yeah. Um, against developer of the game, and it's a rare. Uh, slicing wind does 30 damage to one of your Pokemon's chosen at random. Don't ask me how you do that in the regular card game. Well, of course, it was not designed for this game. Uh, don't apply weakness and resistance for this attack, so it's basically Sonic Boom, except for someone random, and then switch Pidgey off with one of your bench Pokemon chosen random. How does it do that? I don't know. If your opponent has any bench Pokemon, you switch them too. It's kind of weak, but... Uh, the Magma, Smoke, Swing, Smog, you know, regular deal. By the way, Poison, I don't know how you do that. Uh, Seedra, the Water Gun, plus Agility, so... Flip a coin of heads. No damage. No effects or something. Tentacle. At any time during your turn, you may return Tentacle to your hand, and you discard all the energy cards. This cannot be used in the turn you play Tentacle. Yeah, that's kind of odd. He's basically a sitting duck before he evolves. So yeah, you can fight her again if you want. Um. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. Oh, wait. We gotta go to the computer box and magically get cards. Hold on. And magically get cards. So, he suggests using lightning. We managed to do it fine with grass. Uh, Firefetch. Oh, this one's annoying. Um, so, one energy and leak slap. Flip a coin of tails, it does nothing. Either way, you can't use this attack again as long as Firefetch stays in play. That's kind of odd, and this one just regular 30 damage, but that's kind of weird. Just place one energy and you can instantly do 30 damage half the time. But just for once. Uh, Kabuto, this one's a f 
funny one. Whenever I attack, it only does half the damage rounded down, which is pretty cool. Of course, its HP is is vulnerable low, but you know. Um, so you want quite a few medals, want to try building your deck, start by changing some of your cards from your current deck. You get two this time. Now you think that this would be in an attempt to tell you something, by the way, this 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 right here is awesome. Look at that. Flip a coin of heads, uh, preventable effects of damage, which is really good. And then 60, if tails Raichu does 30 damage himself half the time. But 80, yeah, I know, tons of tons of them. Energy, so who cares? Uh, the Kadabra, I believe we've already seen the Kadabra. This one is really strong as well. Yeah, it's a very strong Pokemon, basically. Uh, the Champ. I actually had own one of these for Champs. Which is pretty cool. Um, that's about it. So yeah, you think that it would be, um, noting something? And I just want to show off one thing. Uh, go to your fire. Really? I don't own one? I thought I did own one. No. Oh. I was going to say nine tails. They spell nine tails wrong. They spell nine tails. It's a t spelling tails properly. Not incorrectly. Like a hero's tail. Like that incorrectly. No? Oh gosh, what? Yeah, so it's... Oh, I shouldn't have gone here. Yeah. So anyway, the prize is a level 60 Mewtwo, which is pretty awesome. But anyway, if we go to our diary and save, just before we start the next part, you know. I want rules to any whippersnapper. Uh, you won't get any trades or whatever or battles uh, in here. But anyway, this only happens after you beat the third uh, gym. Just to know that. And you will miss it if you don't know. So your queue is three gyms. That's it. Okay, anyway, I'll see you kids next time. Phew! Seven! Yeah!